look at that, will you? Why wouldn't you want to live in Tasmania? Look at the beautiful day we got here. Beautiful spring day in Wynyard, Tasmania. And yet, there is the Heritage Classic. That's what I'm out and about on today, guys. I hope you can see it there. Look at her. In her stunning black in colour. She is beautiful, isn't she? I oh, know, it's not everyone's ride. It is a little bit naked today without the windscreen. But she'll be right. We are on the way over to have lunch with Mrs. Kimmy Russ Adventures. So let's hop aboard and mosey on over to Bernie, Tasmania. Let's go guys, come along with me. So today you're going to get a bit of a different view. The view from behind the bars. And without the windscreen being on. So I hope you like this view guys. It's not a view we always do with Kimmy Russ Adventures. Like I said, we're traveling to Burnie. We're gonna go and have lunch with Mrs. Kimmy Russ Adventures. Uh, before I have to go to work this afternoon. I tell you, with the look of the day, I could just keep riding, I think. We're currently on the old scenic road, leaving Wynyard to go to Burnie. Used to be the main highway once upon a time for all those guys uh, don't know. The highway runs over to my right now. The main road. So I've still got my adventure bike. I haven't sold it yet. But I am absolutely loving this Harley. Never owned a Harley before. Kim has. Kim's owned a couple as you know. I've had cruises before. Before I got the Avenger bike, that's all I had was cruises. Had boulevards, a couple of boulevards, and a Vulcan, a Voyager. But I tell you, I'm loving this Harley. Loving being back on the cruiser, actually. I didn't realise just how much I missed it. I do love the Avenger bike, but um, wasn't really that practical considering I can't get Kim into an adventure bike she's just too small to reach the ground on them and if I've got to lower it too much which I mean like six to eight inches <laughs> for her to reach the ground it um, does away with the purpose of an adventure bike so I'll be selling that and sticking to the cruiser where we have that much fun it's not funny anyway oh, I hope that wind noise isn't getting to you guys because there's a hell of a lot there about the screen. We've got a beautiful area, haven't we? Absolutely gorgeous. I know, I've said it before, I've said it before. But, it is what it is. You guys need to ride over here. When, when the borders open up again. I know the borders aren't open at the moment. But, never mind. something to save up and to come down and maybe meet Kimmy Rush Adventures we'll go for a ride with you isn't it a glorious spring day it's not real warm it's about 15 degrees but I tell you it's beautiful anyway the sun is shining only thing not good about it is I've got to go to work later but that's what pays to do the things we love touring around on our motorbikes. We're coming up through to Somerset at the moment. A little town not far away from Burnie. Burnie's only about 18 kilometres away from where we live in Wynyard, which is the main town. It's a bit bigger than Wynyard. A lot more things there. As you can see, I've got the TomTom -tom mount mounted on the bike there. 
the quad lock there, the Tom Tom mounts on the bike because in another three weeks time Kim and I are on holidays whereas we normally go to the mainland every year we're not going there for obvious reasons I will not mention why but it's pretty obvious to everyone I think we will be touring Tasmania we have about four weeks off a little over four weeks off so we're going to tour Tassie I mean yes we've been to a lot of places in Tassie on the bikes over the years a hell of a lot but there is places we haven't been to and there's places we're going to go back to and we're going to film it and show you guys providing we get the weather right the spring in Tassie can be a little bit dicky but never mind we'll be out there doing it still if it rains too much we'll stay an extra night somewhere simple as that I know you guys saying well why do you need a GPS in Tassie <laughs> you're exactly right you're exactly right <laughs> uh, it's not a real big place but we're taking it anyway just in case we want to find somewhere in Lonnie or Hobart or somewhere that we're not sure where it is so it will be handy in that regards I guess one thing about uh, touring Tassie we live up on the northwest coast um, if we forget something we can pop home because we're never more than a few hours away from home not like the mainland if we forget something or whatever or the weather comes in shitty we can just go home until the weather clears and then away we go again so I guess that's one advantage I guess normally we leave our touring of Tassie for over the summer months um, and that's after we come back from the mainland which we've been to the mainland uh, for the last 10 years in a row in, in November around about November, October, November but sadly not this year so we're going to make the most of it here in the beautiful Tasmania look at that stunning out there isn't it eh? absolutely stunning We've actually done a couple of mods to Kim's bike lately. We put, uh, oh, that's on the Fat Boy Low, the 2017 Fat Boy Low. We've put a cruise control on it, which is absolutely loving. And also, we've put heated grips on it. And I tell you, they will come in handy here in Tasmania. Very much so. She's had them on non stop ever since she's got them on. <laughs> Anyway, that helps, helps get the chatter down in my ear hole when she starts getting cold or she can't feel her fingers because sometimes the chatter, 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 chatter in Russ's ear, you feel like turning the Bluetooth off, don't you? You guys would know, wouldn't you? As we know though, women do feel the cold more than blokes. So whatever helps make you more comfortable on the bike, which in turn will make you more alert and more aware because you're not concentrating on the cold, is a bonus as far as I'm concerned. So anything you put on a bike that's going to help like that with relaxation and that, that's good. It's got to be. Just going through Cooey there. We're only a couple of k's away from Bernie now. I know you have seen it before, but you haven't seen it from this view from me. Well, I don't know. You haven't actually. No, never. Don't get used to this view though, guys. Tell me what you think of it. But don't get used to it because normally I've got the screen on. I thought today oh, I'd go without the screen. Only problem with filming like this when you've got the screen on, if your screen starts getting dirty, it looks awful on camera. It does distort a little bit too. So I'm screenless. Actually, speaking about screens, I've got a brand new one coming. And you know what? Australia Post reckons they're delivering it today. It's come from America. So I'll have to show you that, guys. It is a tinted one. 
but it is a bit different shape to get the wind up over a my head. The one I've currently got for this bike is probably a couple of inches fraction, oh, a couple of inches short, I reckon, for me. I'm looking way over the top of it, whereas you should only be just looking over the top of them, really. So we're going to give this new screen a try. Kim just found out the other day that it's coming. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. She was going through my emails, wasn't she, on my phone. Nothing's private. I think a bloke needs to change his PIN number on his phone. It could have been a surprise for her. But this is Bernie, guys. Not far away from... Where are you guys going? We're going to go right here, so... We're not far away um, from ending this video. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. What have they done there? Pulled that servo down, jeez. You know, it's only 18 k's away from where we live and I don't get here very often. Not through the main street anyway. We normally go around it because we're out touring somewhere. Well, if the visor up, it'll probably sound a little bit better actually with the visor up. It doesn't echo and doesn't sound as deep, does it? But this is Bernie. Jesus Christ, she's hunched over the wheel there. I think she thinks she's in the Grand Prix or something. Oh dear hell. Chewing away. What the fuck? You stupid fucking bitch. You cannot do that. I have not got no indicator on. You stupid woman. Hey, Lincoln, I tell you. Some people got no idea road rules. Well, this is where we're going to end it, guys. Right here and right now. Make sure you like and describe, guys. You will get all of our updates on our coming up trip. See you guys. <laughs>